Ooh, you scrolled on this video, huh? What's poppin' y'all? It's your girl Team Stacey and I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And if you're turning subscriber, what's up? All these niggas say they hot shit, you must not hurt a Glock. Mr. Pull up, let it pop. Mr. Don't play bad as guap. And ever since a tot, I've been playing around with them blocks. Close your legs, ho, give me top. And my coup cruise like a yacht. So I know you guys like story times. I wanted to tell you guys about literally last week, the worst date that I've ever been on in my whole entire life. Recently, I went on a date. I don't really date a lot. I'm not looking for a man. I'm more focused on like YouTube and school. This one guy followed me on Instagram. I went to go check to see like who it was. And I realized that I knew this person around my junior year in high school, me and this person used to text, but it was nothing serious. It was like a little probably one to two week texting and we just stopped talking. I cannot remember to this day why we fell off, but we did. So anyways, he followed me on Instagram, then he slid in my DMs, you know, try to get at me, whatever. You know how boys be. You know how they be. And you know how they be when you glow up. And the way I look now. I glowed up, it's a home. He ended up giving me his phone number and I, like I told you guys I haven't been talking to anybody so I was like you know what hey why not so we started texting and at first when we were texting I really wasn't paying him much attention we would text or whatever but I would just end up like kind of forgetting to respond because I would just get too busy and I would always promise him that I would FaceTime him but I just would always forget. Finally, he was like, yo, you keep telling me you're gonna FaceTime me and you never do it, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, all right. So we started, we FaceTime. That one FaceTime turned into FaceTiming every night because his vibe was like so good. Like he was like low key, cool as hell. We'll talk, we'll laugh, we'll watch movies. Like it'll be lit. Like he's honestly, he was really cool. So Wednesday, he asked me, oh, are you free on the weekend? So at first I was gonna be like, yeah, like, you know, I'm busy. You know, I wasn't really gonna be busy, but I'm busy to you. I was like, you know what, why not? So I told him, nah, I'm free, like what you trying to do? So he was like, oh, like my friends, they're going to the movies with their girlfriends and they wanted me to go to the movies with them, but I have no one to go with, do you want to go with me? And I was like, hey, like why not, sure. After he asked me that, immediately I was just like, okay, when and what time? He was like, Saturday and I don't know what time. And I was like, where? And he was like, I'm not sure. Thursday come. And like I told you, every night we had a routine of calling each other. And I was like, where are we going? Do you know where now? He was like, I'm not sure yet. So Friday come, I'm like, hey, like, do you know where? Like, you know, he's like, I'm not sure, but I think we're going to Sawgrass. I was like, what time? And then he was like, the movie starts around seven. So I'm going to have my friends pick you up at 6.30. And I was like, your friends? And he was like, yeah, I don't have a car. So I'm going to have them pick you up. And honestly, I'm not no like bird ass female. Like I'm not gonna be like, oh, he don't got a whip. I don't wanna talk to him because I don't have a car right now. How the hell I'm gonna be judging you for not having some shit that I don't have. But low key, I be thinking about that shit. Cause like, if you don't have a car and I don't have a car, how does it gonna work? Cause I ain't, I ain't catching no bus and I ain't catching no Uber to go see nobody. And I thought about it and I was like, first of all, it's gonna be your two homeboys, their two girlfriends and you in the car. And this is my first time meeting you. That's just gonna be awkward for me. I'm the oddball out. You guys all know each other. I don't know you guys. So I was like, you know what? I'll get a ride there. He was like, you sure? I was like, yeah. My friends were coming to my house that Saturday and she was gonna be able to take me there. So. She was like, yo, I'll take you, you know what I'm saying? But we are having game night. Like, if you want to come to game night instead, like, you should. And I was just like, nah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with them. Saturday comes, and around noon, he texts me. He was like, today at 7 o'clock at Sawgrass, we're going to the movies. I was like, okay. So then he calls me at 2, and he was like, we're not going to Sawgrass anymore. We're going to Core Ridge. And, but it's still gonna be at the same time. I was like, Coral Ridge, like that's a little, little far, but okay. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then after that, he calls me at four while I'm getting my hair done. And he was like, oh, um, we're not going to um, Coral Ridge anymore. We're going to Broward and bring $30. And I was like, huh? And he was like, bring $30. Cause I, the movie ticket is cheaper at Broward. So it's gonna be $10 for the movie ticket and then it's gonna be, you need to bring money for food. And I'm just like, I ain't no bird, but um, if you calling this a date and you say you taking me on a date, I'm assuming that you're going to pay because I don't, mm. I've talked to some really, really shitty men before and I've never had to pay for on a date. Like they've always paid for me. You know what I'm saying? Only time I paid on dates 
was with a boyfriend and I feel like it's different. If we're talking and you're taking me on a date, I feel like you should kind of want to impress me and you want to like pay and like be a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? And you asked me, first of all, so if you ask me, you're taking me out. But you know, when I had a boyfriend and he didn't have a job, that's a different story. I'm gonna pay, I have no problem, you're my boyfriend. You're hungry, I got you. You're not my boyfriend. Like, you know, I can just stay home and be home for free why am I going on a date to pay? Like, that don't make no sense to me. But when he told me that, I was just like, red flag number one, okay. I was like, you know what? I ain't even gonna let that phase me. I already told him I'm coming. I'm not gonna lie, I ended up coming late. And reason being is because I was getting my hair done. I'm texting him while this is happening, while I'm being mad late. And I'm texting him and I'm sorry I'm running late. Like my hair's taking way longer than expected. And you could just already tell he's getting mad, he's catching the attitude in the messages. But I ain't gonna be like, Oh, why are you being mad? Like, he has his rights to be mad. Like, I was supposed to be there at 9. It's 9.45. I'm still not there. Like, after that, I could just kind of, like, see that he was getting, like, real agitated with me. And, like, I was just like, you know what? Like, hey, I'm, like, really sorry about it. And, like, I just kept apologizing because I know how it feels to be stood up. Like, I've been completely stood up where my person I was talking to would be like get ready I'm coming right now like and I would literally get ready and be sitting at the edge of my bed like lashes on face beat and he just never showed up but that wasn't the case I was actually getting ready like I was actually going but just stuff just started like going completely left after my hair took a long time the ride that was supposed to take me there they ended up having like to go do something before they could take me and it was just all this extra stuff so I ended up um telling him i'm like hey i'm like super sorry like i'm i i can't make it to the movie but like i feel really bad like you know if you guys are still going out to eat like i want to come he was like oh nah i don't want you to come because you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna just stand me up and i'm like bro like i didn't stand you up on purpose and why would i ask to go to the dinner just to do that again like you know but hey you think i stood you up like you know i get it i'm sorry like, even though i keep apologizing i'm gonna take it i'm wrong so he was just snapping and he just started like being a little rude like and I was letting it slide because you have the rights to be mad because I'm late but he was just saying like slick things and and then one of the things that really slipped me off where I kind of had to bark back at him was he was like if you're not here by this time then don't 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 you ain't gonna see me again like and I'm just like first of all anything can happen life happens where people are going to come late to events and come late to dates and all that type of shit if I was standing you up I would have told you I'm on my way and then I would have never texted you again and I, that's what you call standing up. I'm texting you while shit is going left and I'm literally showing you proof just so you know that I'm not fucking lying. Shit is going left and you still being so fucking rude to me like calm that shit down real quick please. So I ended up just going to go get food with my friend and I'm in I'm in his area because I knew where he lived at. So I'm in his area and I'm, I'm literally eating food in the parking lot of the place that I went to go get food at. And I was like, hey, like I'm in your area. Like if you come home, like if you get home like pretty soon, like I can still pull up on you. Because my main thing was the way the night ended, it made me seem like I was a catfish. Even though he was FaceTiming me every night, like I felt like a catfish. Like, oh, I'm coming to see you at the movie theater and then all of a sudden I just can't come and shit just started happening. So I was just like, hey, like I'll still come see you. He was like, yeah, I guess. I'm like, listen, you saying, yeah, I guess. If you don't want me to come, I completely understand. Like, I'm not gonna force you to see me. Like, you have all rights to still be upset. If you don't want me to come, I will not come. We can just reschedule this. He was like, Oh, nah, like, you could slide, I guess. I'm like, bruh. I was like, do you want me to come or not? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, okay. When you get home, let me know. So he sent me his address, and I wait for him at the place. It was, like, an apartment complex, and it was, like, gated. So we waited, like, outside of the community. And I was just waiting. And he ended up texting me. He was like, where you at? I'm home. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm in your neighborhood. Like, um, I was like, okay. So me and my friend get into the car, and we drive to the gate. And I'm like, I call him and I'm like, hey, I'm literally the, the security guard sitting right here. And I'm like, hey, I'm with the security guard. Like, what do I tell him so I can get in? And he was like, oh, nah, they're not going to let you in. So you're going to have to, um, you going to have to, like, leave and walk in. And I'm like, that's red flag number two. Because first of all, you're telling me to bring money. And second of all, you are a 20-year-old man. I really feel like the reason why the security guard not going to let me in is because you live with your mama and your mama said you're not allowed to have company over because there is no reason why they won't let me in. Like, people getting in, I see people like, and it's like, it's like they have a guest lane. I see people going through the guest lane 
and getting in. So it's not like this place has a curfew of people that can come over or whatever the case may be. You most likely just have a curfew and your mama said people can't come over. So I was like, okay. I was like, okay. So I get out the car and I walk. So mind you, it's all these apartments and I don't know where he lives. I've never been here before. So I'm like, okay. I call him, I'm like, hey, like I'm in the apartment. Like I don't know where to go. He was like, Oh, so just keep walking down straight. Once you pass the second building, turn right. And I'm like on the phone, like, I know this boy not telling me directions on where to walk to. Like, I've met some shitty ass niggas, but who the fuck raised you? Like, you telling me where to walk? Like, why Why wouldn't you come meet me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that just don't make no sense to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping y'all. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm extra. But honestly, me personally, the guys I talk to, I like for them to be somewhat of a gentleman. Like, I'm not asking that you have to open the door for me and you just have to do all this extra stuff. But meeting me, if I'm coming to meet you halfway, that's too much to ask for. So I'm like, um, you can't walk and meet me halfway. And he was like, bro, like it's not that far, but okay. Like still have an attitude y'all. I'm like, okay. So he started walking or whatever. And I'm on the phone with him and I see him and I'm like, oh, I see you. And he just stopped and he is so far. Like I can see you, but you as far as hell. He was like, you see me? And I was like, yeah. He was like, okay. So start walking. I was like, bro, I literally hung up the fucking phone and I was like, Move your fucking feet. Like, I got so fucking mad. I was so loud. I literally screamed so fucking loud and ghetto in this community. But, like, I just feel like you you making me get mad at this point. Like, you making me have to talk to you crazy because it's like, who, who raised you? Like, who raised you? Why would you think that you going to stop all the way down there? You see me and you just going to wait for me to come. Like, meet me halfway. That's number that that's number that's red flag number three. That's already number three. And I should have turned my black ass around. But I was like, you know what? I'm already here. And then he started meeting me. So we meet, we meet, we meet. So then this is him, this is me. So I'm like, oh, while I'm walking out towards him, I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry about you know missing the movie. Like, you know, da 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 da. Like I'm just like, hey, I'm sorry, da da da. And he's just like, yeah. And then I was like, he's like, here. So then he started walking, and I'm like, Hi, like you're not gonna say hello. I can't get no hug. Like I ain't trying to be like, can I get a hug type nigga? But like, I'm like, you ain't gonna greet me. So he was like, hi. I was like, I ain't coming over here no more. And I know I'm not wrong because I I talked to my boy best friend that I just did my lady prank on. If you need to go watch that video, if you ain't watched that video yet. But I had talked to my boy best friend and he even told me he was like, this boy is tripping because you told him multiple times that if he felt this upset. Like just let him let you know and you don't have to go there. So we start walking and he I was like, Oh, so we're going to your house and he was like, Oh nah, my mom home, so we just gonna sit in the car. And I'm just like, Okay. So we sit in the car, his mom's car, and I'm just sitting in the passenger seat. The boy gets in the car and this is all he doing. Just just scrolling. That's it. Don't he not saying nothing. And I'm just like so how was your day he was like good that's all he said like he didn't even he didn't even like no conversation y'all he was just like good i was like okay i was like how was the movie he was like it was good just still scrolling on his phone like no attention i'm like okay like me personally i don't like that that's very awkward to me like i'm not here to be like that like i want to talk so me personally i know how it is to be upset and when you're upset, you don't want to talk. And the only thing that you want to talk about is what made you upset. So I'm like, so what your friend said about me not showing up to the movie? Oh, now he put his phone down. He ready to talk now. He like, oh, my homeboy said that I need to cut you off and that I shouldn't trust you. And then that the girl said that they knew once it hit um, 9.30 that I wasn't coming no more and all type of stuff. And I'm just looking at this shit, at him talk, and I'm just like... Do I give a fuck? No, not one. How many fucks do I give? Zero. Exactly. So therefore your comment is irrelevant. The point isn't even the movie. The point is for me to see you. Like, I get it. Be upset. If you want to be upset, don't invite me to see you after the movie. You feel me? You invited me to see you after the movie. This is the point. Us is supposed to see each other. We're supposed to meet. That That's the point. The movie is not the point. I did not come to watch no damn movie. I don't give a fuck about no damn movie. So... 
he was just talking about how he's supposed to cut me off and all type of stuff. I'm just sitting in this car. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Cut me off. And then after that, after he was done talking, he just got back quiet and got back on his phone. So I was just like, okay, so I'm ready to go. So I get out the car and I was like, walk me back to the front. I literally had to tell him because I don't even think he was going to walk me to the front. So I was like, walk me back to the front. We start walking. I'm all the way over here. He walks all the way over here, walking all ahead of me. I'm like, oh, hell no. Mind y'all, I ain't even, I ain't want to talk my shit, but... Me even seeing him, he didn't even look how he looked on Instagram. On Instagram, he looked way older. He looked more like he was slim, but in person, he looked skinny. Like, he didn't look like how he looked on Instagram. On Instagram, you know how they look like they got a little, a little dough in person. Mm, the outfit, girl, after that, y'all, I told you how before, he want to text me, oh, we just know that this is the last time that you gonna see me, we ain't really gonna be doing this no more. I'm not, you ain't all this type of bullshit. Right after I left, I think he realized that I was cute. He wanna blow up my phone. Did you make it to the car? Um, FaceTime me when you get home. Call me, are you okay? Did it like blowing up my phone, y'all? That really turned me off, like it just really turned me off. So yeah, that's pretty much my story time. <laughs> So I just really wanted to like do a little girl chat with y'all, talk to y'all about what recently happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Just a little chit chat, a little story time, you know, things like that. So that's pretty much the end of the video. And if you want more chit chat, chit chat story time, just comment down below, like this video, and that will let me know that you guys want more. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.